In the previous video, we completed the first portion of our joint. I'm going to hide this work plane and hide this part right here. Uh, I'm going to create a sketch on the top. Oh, I clicked the right side. Let's get out of that. I'm going to create a sketch on the top, orientate myself, and I'm going to grab a center point circle. I'm going to make this uh, two inches. And I'm going to extrude this six inches. So we can see that here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place a sketch on my front plane. I'm going to grab that uh, center point circle and uh, I'm going to draw this off to the side here at two inches as well. And now I'm going to dimension it where I'd like it to be. I want it to be centered, so I'm going to make that three inches from the bottom. And I want this to overlap some, so I'm going to dimension it from the center point here to the center line here. And I want this to be about 1.4. So I'm going to come up and click on my extrude button. I'm going to extrude this six inches as well, but instead of a blind extrusion, I want to do symmetrical so it goes in both directions, as we can see there now. So I'm going to make my way over to the assembly file, and I'm going to insert two of my parts, and I'm going to insert this here. So my center part here, I'm going to uh, fix. So I can right click on that. I'm gonna fix that so it can't move. Now I'm simply just going to constrain using my Revolut uh, constraints. I'm gonna do the outside of this to the outside of this here. And I'm gonna do the same thing here to the outside of this circle center to the outside of this and I'm going to uh, apply those. Uh, I can take this off and what you're going to notice is they now move but they don't move like they would in the physical world and the reasons being on that is we haven't set any limitations. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our Revolut and set our limitations. So we're going to come into our Revolutes by double clicking and then setting our limits here and you can see that we have uh, our numbers that appear on this, uh, we can see as I turn, I've chosen 40 and 120. Uh, as you rotate this, you'll see that you have been, uh, you'll be given where we are. So 40 and 120 for my limits here. So I'm going to double click on Revolute 2. I'm going to click on limits. And on this one, let's look at a better angle. Uh, again, as I turn this, if I set a value in here, so I'm going to set my value at 230 and 320. You're going to notice now I can fine tune if I need to. Okay, three. Let's see if we do have any collisions there. Uh, and we can see the part does go inside of each other there. So 230 seems to be too much. So I'm going to go to. Oh, not 340, 240, 240. So now let's see if we rotate from that 320. Uh, I flipped that, so I'm just going to exit right out of that. Let's go back in there. Uh, limits and uh, 220 to 320. Again, now I can rotate this. And I see no collisions there, and my 320 was clean the last time I looked. So that's how you go about to set your limitations. It takes a little bit of time. But now what you can see is we have our fully functioning uh, universal joint. Uh, if I right click on any of these now, I can right click and go to animate. I can hit, I'm going to go down to 100 steps and I'm going to keep it as reciprocating on this one. We can see that we can animate each half of our joint. Hope this helps as you use universal joints in your designs.